Hey folks, I want to take a few minutes to demonstrate this Technix SLJ2. It's a fully automatic direct drive turntable. Uh, it's got quartz lock on the speed and uh, the parlor trick is that it has uh, skip search so at any point you can uh, choose uh, to move to a new track and it finds the uh, space between the songs and uh, can play that track. So this is uh, early 80s turntable. It's an evolution of the Technics SL10, um, which uh, those have really uh, skyrocketed in price in recent years. Uh, this is evolution of that, but still the same uh, same basic platform and uh, same overall size, uh, just a little bit more um, streamlined at the front. Uh, it, one nice thing about this unit, or, or many 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 nice things about this unit, but uh, um, it's it's certainly not not a toy. Um, it sounds uh, very good, and the specifications are uh, excellent. At, uh, as an example, the uh, signal to noise is 75 dB. So it, it, it's a really good performer. Um, it uses P-mount cartridges. Uh, it will uh, be very great. Um, you know, protect your very easy on your records. Um, no issue with that. And uh, overall, the, the probably the best overall thing is that it's super easy uh, to use. You re really ne you never touch the tone arm at all, and you only touch the record to uh, put it on and off. Um, so this one has been fully restored, and, and by that I mean that uh, the drive mechanism for the tone arm has been completely disassembled, cleaned, uh, and then lubricated and reassembled with the uh, correct lubricants. So it's in excellent condition. Same thing with the drive gear, and uh, installed a new belt. Uh, one thing that... Uh, Nobody really does a couple things actually one is the spindle. So the spindle for the platter has uh, been uh, removed cleaned with alcohol and then uh, reassembled with uh, some new synthetic lubricant uh, Overall detailing as well as a polishing of the cover. So uh, the real weak point of, of all these Technics clamshell type units is the uh, dust cover scratch very easily so this one at this point is uh, easily better than say 95% of the units out there. Um, it's not a trivial task to polish the cover because it's integrated with the unit. It has printing on it um, uh, and, and won't say that this one is, is perfect but is very good, catches the light very nice and presents very well. Uh, you, if you've watched any videos on this, I encourage you this one or the SL10. Uh, it, the overall size of the unit is the size of a record jacket, which doesn't even seem possible, but uh, they really pulled it off with this one. So let's go ahead and put a record on. When you put a record on, you can kind of see that the record really fills up almost the whole thing. So there's just enough space around it for the, um, you know, for, for the clamshell top to come down. And uh, one thing to note is I did put a new cartridge on this. So this is the AT85EP. So very good uh, elliptical uh, P-mount cartridge made by um, Audio-Technica. And uh, so that, uh, you know, nice upgrade for this table. Uh, most of them come, come with, uh, you know, old worn out or bent P-mounts. Um, and just to note that this will be shipped really well. Um, many people think just because this is a small clamshell turntable you can just throw it in a box but uh, just like a, a normal turntable you do need to uh, protect the stylus either by removing it or covering I have the uh, cover for the um, uh, stylus and cartridge assembly and the platter should be should be removed the platter uh, is removable just like uh, a normal turntable so let's go ahead and uh, do a quick demo so we talked a little bit about so let's go ahead and just play start. Uh, this is the easiest thing you can do and it'll just start. And uh, start at the beginning, it'll play through to the end. Now one thing at any point, we're on the first song now. If we wanted to say go to the fourth song, we can go three more. So at any point, if you're if you're starting out, then you just select the number of the track. Say if it's track four, you go to track four. If you're already starting and say if you're on track two and you want to go to track four, you, you press two. So it's all, it's relational from where it is. 
Uh, that's the, just the one thing you have to uh, kind of pay attention to if you want to move around tracks. It's really very simple once you get used to it. Um, at any point you could you can go back a track or go back to the beginning of a track by pressing it once in the back direction. That'll just restart that same track. It will... Um, so here we're restarting that track. Uh, you could go back to, uh, you could go forward, I mean at any point. So let's go forward one more. And we'll start the last, this is uh, five song, five songs on this side. So this is the last one. Most famous song on this record. And it does uh, pick up and um, return at the end, as you'd expect. Also, if you press repeat, it'll just continue to repeat the side of the record um, until you stop it. Let's see, let's just go to the end. And you can see it uh, just pick up and return. So I think the, I forgot to mention Although I'm sure you know, this is linear, uh, linear drive turntable, so the, the tone arm at all times is parallel to the record. Uh, this tracks uh, warped records, uh, really as good as anything I've used, uh, it, as good as a, a Sony BioTracer with the electromagnetic arm, um, and that has to do with the uh, the arm being very short because it doesn't need to be long, and second secondarily it has dynamic. Um, uh, damping. So um, it, this one I also set the stylus for so uh, um, that can be done. It's a little bit tricky but this has been set to just about 1.3 so slightly the spec is from 1 to 5 so just a little higher. You don't you usually don't want it um, uh, 1.25 being the nominal value. You usually don't want to be lower than that so just a little higher than that. Um, these can be done played at an angle and so forth and so some people will put them on stands uh, there are dedicated stands or some people will get uh, old stands for a dot matrix printer from probably similar vintage to this um, so uh, I think with that uh, let's just uh, end the video so thanks so much and have a good day